One last piece that I uh, wanted to mention was the, what, what I do really like about this continuous ridgeline approach is that um, with your black bishop egg, um, all you have to do is uh, just stow up your tarp. You've got all of your stakes already set, um, and now you can throw your tarp in your black bishop egg. Um, granted, you can do this with snake skins as well. I feel like, um, granted, I haven't had any direct um, interaction or knowledge of uh, snake skins. But I just feel like they wouldn't pack up as nice and neatly as this does. Um, I'll show you um, a little later what this actually looks like packed up. But the beauty of having um, this continuous ridge line is that you know now we've got all of our stakes set in the ground. Um, but if it's not particularly raining right now, we can enjoy the view. Um, you know, with just having the tarp up there in its little home, uh, you know, ready to be deployed if um, the weather starts turning. So one thing I wanted to mention in this video was the uh, suspension, my hammock suspension now. Um, this is a Warbonnet Blackbird. Um, this is a 1.7 ounce double layer. Um, and the way that I, once again, this is just what works for me. Um, I've tried whoopee slings. I tried um, even a single piece of amp steel um, on both ends um, outlined in uh, Grizz's videos. And granted, they were the systems worked just fine. They just didn't work as well for me. Um, what I do like is webbing. Um, so basically, I just have a, a carabiner, climbing carabiner, up at the tree. Um, you could just as easily go through the eye of the um, the sewn eye on the end of the webbing, or you could, um, you know, use a Dutch clip or something like that, which I've also used in the past. I just like the simplicity of a carabiner and. Um, I also like with a carabiner the fact that you can load this in almost any way other than directly on the gate and um, you know it's not going to cause you any issues whereas I have heard um, with a Dutch clip there is you know obviously a specific way that it needs to be um, you know mounted on the tree. Just another piece of fiddle factor that I um, you know doesn't necessarily work very well for me. Once again other people love them and um, you know that's long as you're getting out and, and enjoying uh, the outdoors it doesn't necessarily matter you know what you what you end up using as long as you're enjoying it so this is just what ends up working for me um, the webbing this is a um, just a continuous loop of amp steel on this end um, and it's girth hitched onto the whipping of the blackbird let's take a look over on this end um, the amp steel is just girth hitched through um, you know, all of the, uh, you know, the ridge line and the little pieces of, um, you know, grow grain and such on the, uh, on the, wh the, uh, whipping of the blackbird here. And then I've got it girth hitched on to a single descender ring. And what I've done here is, I guess could best be described as a double slippery half hitch. So what you do is you end up coming down and through your descender ring, you make a slippery half hitch, you pull a loop through, and then you end up pulling an additional loop through that loop. Um, it was actually outlined in a Ray Mears video um, on YouTube. If you search Ray Mears uh, hammock tarp uh, knots or something along those lines, you'll end up um, at a video where he describes the uh, knots that he uses to hang his tarp and also to hang his hammock. And at uh, two minutes, the two minute mark on that video, he ends up describing this knot here. Um, and it's, it works extremely well. It negates the um, need for two descender rings or for a cinch buckle of any kind. Um, I like the simplicity of it. Um, and you still have all the adjustability um, where you can just, you know, pull this out. You know, it's a slipped knot. You end up pulling this out and you can pull tighter on it and adjust it closer to this tree over here. Um, and then retie it. Um, it's a quick and simple um, way to get your hammock suspended. And it, once again, it, it works for me. Um, let's take a look here. One other additional sort of um, thing that I've added on to my uh, hammock here is that the actual uh, the side pullouts for the shelf, for the shelf or for the um, the side that you're actually getting out of. It's nice to have. I've actually added a small little micro beaner here. What I've done is so the um, shock cord goes down to the um, stake here. And I actually just started recently girth hitching my um, tie-outs onto my stakes. 
This is a recommendation by WV from Hammock Forums, and I really like it because if uh, for some strange reason this ends up getting slingshotted or slingshot, um, your stake is attached to um, your pullout here with the girth hitch, so I really like that. Um, so what you have is this ends up following its way up, it goes through the um, cord lock, and then we have a very small loop of um, the shock cord coming out and then back into the cord lock here, and I've attached a carabiner. And what the beauty of this is you can actually attach or detach this from your um, from this pullout here. And this is extremely useful on the end that you're entering because what you can do is you can have this all staked out and what you can do is if you're getting in and out regularly you can just unclip that and now you know you can get in and out very quickly. Um, so that's one piece that I like. And you can still have the same kind of adjustability with this. Um, you know you can just adjust that cord lock there and it'll make this longer or shorter. So those are uh, the major points of my hammock suspension and my uh, tarp and tarp suspension. Once again, they work for me. Um, hopefully, um, you know, someone else may find a new method for uh, hanging their tarp or hanging their hammock and uh, be able to enjoy being in the outdoors uh, a bit more. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.